Who got you onto? Yeah, this is a great story. Who got you onto the ropes? This is huge. Um, so, so cutting back into, um, so so, title uh, Corona happens. Corona happens. I'm deep in this fast, and um, I start like researching during the fast, like how long should I be doing this and stuff. And I stumbled upon, um, oh no, a friend friend led me onto a guy called Tim Sheaf. And uh, Tim Sheaf, if you don't know him, he's an absolute pioneer of just keep watching him. He he he's going to just start making great things in this world. And um, yeah, he led me, well, helped me on the fast just by like he'd done a very big fast himself and documented it on YouTube. And um, then he started talking about uh, the inventor who is David Weck, and um, and through watching. Like just seeing what like I, I actually didn't even like watch many videos. I just understood that there was something here that I needed to look into. So during the fast, I went and bought some rope from Bunnings. I've got nothing else that I'm really doing, so I start plaiting it and just start exploring it. And um, and then down the track, there's this like they start releasing more and more videos, and and ultimately that's where like. <laughs> As, as soon as I was moving, I knew that there was something to it. There was something, some power because when I had it explained that it connects the links between the two hands, like you remember as a kid that you've got those cups that you put on your ear and then you, you put a cup of string. With a piece of string. Beautiful. And we can communicate now, right? And so it connects those two links to your hands and you've got a dominant hand and a non-dominant hand. And so now you can communicate the, either side. You've connected the link. And so... I instantly felt a change in my what my left shoulder and my left side of my body was doing. And that's where the rabbit hole just started, man, where it was like, oh, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I've been only doing this for three weeks and I'm almost coming up to 40 hours of just doing this same figure of eight pattern, which instills that you're balancing because you're, you're working in this figure of eight just out in front of you. Um, and so and so it, what's, what's really cool is that Anyone can do this. It's any piece of string, any chord, any just a modality of a, a chord would be the goal. Um, and 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 that's what has led. If anyone's following me on my Instagram, there's like I think it's like nine hundred dollars, maybe up to over a thousand dollars now of ropes that I've bought and like tested out because there's different ones. And um, so yeah, uh, it's it's starting online and um, yeah, so. Uh, just pick up a rope and anyone can do it. But the, 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 what is, what is it? It's, you're not trying to jump through the rope. When you jump over the rope, your arm goes down as your leg comes up. There's a disconnect in your upper and your lower half of the body. Okay. And so when you don't jump the rope and you have a little bit of extra weight, you're able to move this rope with your legs and with your arms. So your whole body is forced, not forced. Your whole body is working in unison to be able to move this rope. Now, if you are sweating or it's becoming challenging, then you actually might be doing something wrong and then you'll have to make that adjustment because ultimately you could be able to do this moving meditation very smoothly, very easily. And so by making those adjustments along the way, you find so many little lessons and levels. And if anyone's out there that's it's trying to like have a go with this or is, is skeptical, test it out yourself. Just pick up a rope, or get on my Instagram, send me a message or whatever, and I'll, I'll start you on the journey because it's it's a game changer because it will instantly give you, it's such an instant turnover that it will give you feedback straight away. If you are, as soon as you go to walk again or like once you put the ropes down, you will notice that you are moving against gravity or are moving through your space a little bit differently. And that's the sort of things that I like to stuff around with. Hey, or I like to, to work with things that give me feedback that I'm like, I know this is working because it feels right. I don't need to be like, Oh, well mm, maybe if it was a different temperature today, no, if it either bloody damn well works or it doesn't. And, um, that like, that's the things that I, I keep like like stumbling upon. And there's been a few lately. Like the one that I just put up recently was this uh, filled a yoga ball with, um, with water. And uh, I had to tip some out because it was a little bit heavy at start. But just moving it was like this mad amount of rotational power. And, and you could feel everything like your obliques moving and, and all that. And it was like, oh, th th 
this has feedback instantly that I know is working. It's not like, oh, I need someone else to tell me, is that muscle working? Do you feel better now? No, nah, man, I know it worked because I, I feel it. And, and so everyone that is is out there that, that hasn't been, that is still jumping through the ropes, learn the four fundamental patterns first and then 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 jump through it. But um, ultimately test it out yourself and, and have a go and, and let me know on my Instagram. Um um, I changed my name to the, to the Wandering Ape because uh, I didn't want to be that a uh, young aggressive kid anymore, and I uh, wanted to be the more Zen approachable. Uh, I wanted to be more approachable. 